Ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, thank you very much for showing up. I want to make uh, an announcement, but before I do that, I want to thank the members of the media and the public for assisting several agencies in the apprehension of this dangerous convicted felon. John Wesley Jeffries was apprehended this afternoon at approximately 3.50 p.m. Uh, it was a joint effort. The Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office and members of the FBI Safe Streets Task Force uh, arrested Mr. Jeffries in Fredericksburg City um, in the Morningside subdivision. Mr. Jeffries is currently charged in Spotsylvania County on outstanding felony warrants uh, for abduction, attempted malicious wounding, and strangulations. <coughs> Mr. Jeffries is also a person of interest in a double homicide in Fauquier County. Uh, the joint investigation between Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office, Fauquier County Sheriff's Office, Fredericksburg City Police Department, members of the Virginia State Police, and the U.S. Marshals led to the apprehension of Mr. Jeffries. Uh, taking the lead this afternoon was the FBI Safe Streets Task Force housed in Fredericksburg. Captain Pierce has some information he can add about the apprehension as he was uh, one of the supervisors who spearheaded the manhunt. Captain Pierce. Thank you. Again, this was a joint effort uh, between numerous agencies. Um, we had intelligence information as well as citizen input, uh, calls in giving us information on sightings, uh, potential locations, etc. of uh, Mr. Jeffries. Uh, this afternoon, we had information uh, that led us to uh, the Morningside uh, subdivision in Fredericksburg. The FBI Safe Streets Task Force was involved in uh, the search for Mr. Jeffries. Uh, he was spotted coming out of a residence in that neighborhood and was taken into custody without incident. Mr. Jeffries was later taken to uh, the hospital for observation as he was complaining of chest pains and, and having some difficulties in, in breathing. Again, though, he was taken into custody without incident. Are there any questions? Do you guys, is there an investigation on the way as far as a charge of aiding? I understand he was an acquaintance. Were they aiding him during this process of escape? Of escape? Okay, that I would probably defer to the city police department on that. Uh, Captain Keebler? Right now, investigators are still interviewing people who are involved um, in, in, in the coming weeks. All of the agencies will be trying to recreate uh, his whereabouts, his movements from uh, the events in Falk here all the way through his arrest today. So right now it's just kind of a little bit too early uh, to talk about who may have assisted him and, uh, and who assisted us. I know you guys put out yesterday a poster saying he may have shaven some of his facial hair. Was that true? Did he shave his facial hair? Um, I, that I can't speak to because I didn't see him today. Yes, he was, he was clean shaven today. Do you, do you believe he's been there the past few days and, and what was his demeanor? Was he surprised to see you guys or was he willing to be taken into custody? He appeared to be somewhat surprised when he was approached by members of the task force. Um, we don't know uh, his whereabouts for the last several days. Uh, obviously we've had an active search ongoing for him and uh, the information that we received today that led us to look for him in that area uh, obviously was valid and the information from the public on that is what ultimately led to uh, his capture. Captain, the owner of that marble and granite store told me he saw the suspect scale the fence and try and hide behind the tree. Is there any confirmation of that? When they took him into custody, uh, he did very briefly try to make his escape, but he, he saw right away that uh, he was surrounded and, uh, and he stopped and gave up. There was no altercation and there was no incident with the arrest. Is anybody from Falk here? Mm -hmm. Actually, there are Falk here detectives and uh, some high ranking officials from Falk here, but they are going to be involved in uh, an interview 
okay. with Mr. Jeffries, and they're not available right now to talk to the press. Captain, any idea of his connection to this home where he was apprehended? That's going to be uh, under investigation. We don't have any definitive information on that as yet. And again, the, the Fredericksburg Police Department would be spearheading the investigation into that aspect of it. I know some witnesses were telling me about the clean shaven face and said it also looked like he had a mark on his nose. Is that from where he was uh, busted across the face of the oxygen bottle from that previous incident? Okay, the incident you're talking about occurred in Fredericksburg. Right. Again, that's Fredericksburg. something that the Fredericksburg Police Department would need to address. Captain, do you have anything to offer on that? Uh, right now, we're looking at Mr. Jeffries as uh, the suspect in the um, home invasion uh, entry on uh, Saturday night. Uh, the injury uh, to his face seen today is consistent with the injury that the uh, the victim believed he inflicted on the. Uh, suspect in the other case with the oxygen bottle. Right now, um, it, we're, uh, we're treating him as a suspect, but we haven't confirmed that he's the offender in that home invasion. You mentioned he complained of chest pains. Did, did, those, did those pains result in anything, or has he since been released from the hospital? Uh, I can't comment on his condition currently. Um, as far as I know, he's still being seen by a physician. And uh, we won't know until the, the doctor's report comes out, you know, what his condition is. What's the feeling now knowing that you have this guy in custody, that he's off the streets and that this search is over? Well, certainly with the joint investigative effort to bring this man into custody, uh, we certainly felt that, that uh, uh, it was a serious matter. Uh, that he was someone that we absolutely needed to uh, pool our resources together to apprehend and to bring him to justice and uh, further the investigations that are ongoing by other agencies. Any other questions? Yes, sir. The information you said led y'all to that area you leads to that specific house? Well, that as it's still under investigation by Fredericksburg Police Department, we wouldn't be able to comment on that. Anything else? Can you guys just, the people who have spoken, say and spell their name in the rank? Uh, Captain Jeff Pierce, P-E-A-R-C-E, CID Commander for Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office. I'm uh, Captain Jim Keetler, K-U-E-B-L-E-R, I'm the uh, Detective Division Commander for Fredericksburg. Roger Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S. Did I get that right, Jeff? I think so, sir. Sheriff Spotsylvania <laughs> County. <clears throat> yes, sir. What is the process that y'all go about as far as who would uh, prosecute him first if he is charged <clears throat> in the other localities, particularly in up the double homicide? Well, that would be a matter that's taken up by the respective Commonwealth attorney's offices in each jurisdiction. Right now, he's not charged anywhere else, as far as you know? At this moment, he is, he is charged solely with the Spotsylvania County felonies. And there is a pending warrant, Keith, uh, against Mr. Jeffries from the state police that uh, I believe deals with him failing to register as a convicted sex offender. We sure thank you for coming out. If you have any additional questions or would like any more information, I'll be standing by, as will some of the other folks here. And again, thank you, and we appreciate your time.